All our polar ears. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. You see, Betty, we figured that the only way to surprise you was to do something really unusual. And what's more unusual than having a birthday party in our haunted house? So since we decided to hold a party for everybody at the gang on the 16th birthday, we would have quite a time thinking of the original idea, so it'll really be a surprise. Were you surprised, Betty? Surprise? I'm practically fainting. And you can thank me for it. After all, who's decoyed her here? <laughs> Frankly, I thought Madge was a little crazy when she suggested coming here. I figured I'd better humor her. Any ghosts while you're in here? Don't say such things. He's a serious Betty. Hey, Dave, there's a ballroom for dancing right down the hall. I'll bet you see a real ballroom. Bring your radio. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm out of here. 
I can't do it. I'm too big and strong. The goals are there for me. Well, since you hear that, I guess this is right too. The goals probably wouldn't even so up in here. Well, the bus will have to do it. Since Betty seems so anxious about Phil's welfare, why let her do it? No, Betty's too much of a fraidy cat. I'll do it. You kids are half as good as think you are. Gosh, Betty, do you think you should? I'll be all right, Phil. Just keep your ear open to that door. Come run when I know. You bet I will. We all will. <laughs>
got a few false leads in this book that the one that started here. On the surface, she was very respectful. Not only on the surface. After that night, I knew if I mixed in any more shady feelings with the other police again, they'd find out about red hair. I went straight. I got a job and worked myself into a pretty fair position. Did you stay away from here? I wanted to find that money. That old goat. Right there? Yes, Red Kane. He was always right about everything. I wanted to make him wrong about this. Every summer, when I had my vacation, I came here, trying to be a goat to keep you away and hunting for that money. I knew you were on the right trail when you came here to try to just this Then we heard the story of the haunted house from the townspeople who decided to sell Oh, please. All I know is I wonder who I really was. Can you tell me? What was the name of your teacher? The Patty Daniels Memorial Home for Friendless Children. Yes, you're the baby who cried that night. Red King was a mean man. He and his dirt. He had a son who ran away from home because he couldn't stand his father. But Red King kept detectives following him. He wanted to control everything and everybody. His son married and had a baby girl. And I'm Red King's granddaughter. The son was killed in an automobile accident. Oh, the son's wife went to work and left the child with another couple of the day. Well, Red King wanted his granddaughter. He is somebody with his own flesh and blood in the house to bully. I was doing a little odd jobs at the time. He got hold of me for some of his shady oil. He did not do it? Yes. Your mother might still be alive. No, I found out she died about five years ago. Oh, Jim, I was hoping. I brought the baby to him that night. I knew he wanted the kid real bad, and it just came to him. He not for it. He didn't. So I hid the kid outside the house and tried to hold him up for, it, for more money before I turned the little girl over. What? He wasn't pay? No. He was eating dinner. He threatened me with a knife to use the car. It was right when he didn't spoon. He got up from that table and chair and came toward me. I thought he was going to kill me. I had a gun. I used it. Oh, before he died, he said that money was hidden in this room, but that I'd hunt forever and never find it. I determined I would find it. I searched a little, but was afraid maybe somebody had heard the shot. I was afraid they could trace the kid, so I took her along and got out of town. I didn't want to hurt a kid, so I better just pull the sheet out of the way. You left her at the Yes. When you turn straight, you have to get quite a dumb get back to hunt for a moment. Yes. You know, I don't know anything about old Red King's hair. There is no money in it. He said so with his dying breath. It was his revenge. You know you never find it because it isn't there. He was back. Why, the old... Come on, we're going to find it. Two of our game went to get They should be back any minute. All right, boy, my car. I don't trust your black folks to control that. You know, too much about it. You can stick around with the sheriff for me. <laughs> Gosh, Betty, I almost forgot about you. Oh, mine's like a very bad thing. Just think, he helped solve the real mystery. Yes, and it was good for us too, wasn't it, though? Good for our reputations, anyhow. Who else they were cowards now? Nobody, because they really are too hard. No, we're brave now. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's, it's just the one. I'm not scared of you. No.
Thank you very much for coming this evening, and I think that you'll agree that the young people in Drama Club have been working very hard, and there will be a brief intermission, uh, after which the, the seventh grade class will be presenting the talent show. So you have approximately 10 minutes, but don't lose your seats. We're having trouble getting enough chairs tonight. We'll try to find some more. We're very happy to have such a big crowd here. So maybe now uh, we can get the custodian. And